Let's start with one of the favorite subjects, which used to be actually up near high, na. When everybody in the UPVC industry was only doing UPVC, aluminium was not a likable product. But today, everybody is doing UPVC and aluminium at the same time. So, YP, why don't so, you kick this so, debate up so with saying that? So, there is a difference. I disagree with you. Okay, no problem. Happy so, to disagree. So, aluminium was always there. It is a system aluminium system which is not there. Yes. In fact, the most of the competition of UPVC was with wood and local aluminium. Right. So you want to walk through the journey of how it started, and now maybe take it into the concept of high rise and UPVC versus aluminium. What is the better material and why? When we started with UPVC some way back in 2003, one of the biggest challenge of promoting UPVC was it was known as plastic windows. Hmm. And that point of time, there were a couple of plastic profiles used in plush doors and things like that. And so everybody was apprehensive. Yeah, ये तो plastic का door है टूट जाएगा छः महीने में. I think that is where the concept of warranty, concept of bringing the technology from UK came into picture, and we started giving warranties to the user, primarily the builders that. Nothing is going to happen to this window for the next 30, 40, 50 years. As long as the building is there, this profile can be there. So the PVC U comes from the word unplasticized polyvinyl chloride, and uh, the whole idea was to differentiate from plastic. This word was coined then. That is where they started uh, putting in the market is U PVC and it's not plastic. That was the beginning, and I think uh, there were a few initial hiccups. Not hiccups, I would say. It was a couple of years. I think four or five years we had to struggle out to push into the market these windows. Eventually, there are some starters in the market who accepted it. They experimented with the product. Earlier, they were happy with the product also. You talked about high rise. Now, mm -hmm. one of the misnomer which in the market is that high rise has to be aluminium. We had actually tested a window, a good size. I think it was around nine feet. At 2.7 kp, now that's a huge wind load we are talking about. So it is not that UPVC cannot be used in high rise; it can be used if it is properly designed. We have lot of projects where up to 30, 40, 50 stories UPVC windows have been installed, and it has been performing over years together now, in spite of all the hurricanes in the coastal region. Like We're talking about the south somewhere, Mumbai, Odisha, Chennai. Coastal. Region. So. High rise, anything can work. Even aluminium can work or PVC can work. But It what is the what is the better material? Both are equally good. You would say? I would still see in residential segment. I still feel UPVC is much better product. India is yet to evolve on aluminium system, and the reason why I'm saying is this hot country, and you have either in the north we have cold and hot, but temporarily you can say you can. South is, is more tropical. More tropical. There is a. Mix of scenarios. Aluminium today, what we are using is all non-thermal brick. Right. If you make it thermal brick, then we can say yes, it is a good product to use. But without thermal brick, you are losing lot of energy into the system. So currently, we have zero or limited. Uh, yeah. Manish, what is your take on? Uh, let's say if you are making a 30, what's average high-rise multi-story is what now? 20 to 30 stories become an I average. I guess 20 in... and above is minimum average, I guess now and upwards. It depends what segment we are talking so about. So if you were to recommend to a developer who is choosing to make a decision between UPVC and aluminium, we will come to glass in a bit. Uh, what what are the main parameters that you would recommend as a manufacturer? What the customer should use. Take it forward from what where YP left it. So one, there is a myth about UPVC that it's not right for the high rises. Mm. I personally recently tested the windows at a testing facility in Mumbai. So this is just three months back. So we were doing a government project. It's again, uh, it was about 45 stories, nine feet high door. There was misconceptions it will not pass. And to my surprise, we tested the windows at about 3.36 kPa. So it's a high speed. Let's put it. it's, it's equal. It's equivalent to a kind of a cyclonic, uh, close to a cyclonic kind of a situation. So just creating the air that both the products UPVC and aluminium is fit for use for high rise. It really depends what kind of a utility is expected out of them. In my opinion, so really we need to understand if there is anything which is below 10 feet for high rise also, which is normally not there in the high rise. There is nothing more than 10 feet currently 
beside some double height windows or something of that sort so it is up to the developer in terms of choosing the right product between upvc and aluminium currently when we are comparing system aluminium but below 10 feet it's really there is no differentiation currently that why he should go for upvc or aluminium in my opinion upvc is a better performance window or a door over aluminium currently is concerned but as compared to thermal systems then it probably becomes at par or it depends system company to system company how things are uh, you guys have must have seen instagram reels shots where windows have been flying away from apart so i like windows. to add a case study here yeah, very very I'm... very very small and very 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 hilarious kind of a thing so 2009 so we were talking to a developer in western part of india so and i was new 2007 we started it was a big order then about 6 or towers 33 story i had no technical information no technical knowledge so i went to the developer he was wanting to buy windows out of china and he did not had the confidence on window magic that they'll be able to do the job in terms of quantity was concerned so i had multiple round trips to that city to discuss the windows and eventually one day when i went there i saw my windows kept on the ground floor outside their office i understood he is not giving me the order i went up and from his body language i could gauge ki the order is going to some chinese company wo windows wahan se layenge and he will get the installation done locally mm -hmm. so maine unko bola main ka itne saal wo itne mahine mein maine aapke sath mehnat kari so give me one tower at least oh 10% of the order not one tower 10% of the order he said 10% to nahi de paunga fir एक टावर ही कर लो 10 परसेंट तो बनेगा नहीं सिक्स टावर्स के अंदर सो so, उसने कहा ये प्राइस है ये मैच करना है सो आई मैच द प्राइस उसने ना टेक्निकल की बात करी ना हमें नॉलेज थी उसने जो स्पेसिफिकेशन मांगी हमने दे दी एंड वी इंस्टॉल्ड इट सो अबाउट टेन ऑड इयर्स बैक देर वॉज अ काइंड ऑफ अ साइक्लॉनिक सिचुएशन इन दैट सिटी एंड थर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द विंडोज ऑन द फ्लोर वॉट वॉज द मिस्टेक इफ यू वॉट यस अबाउट इट देर वॉज नो विंड लोड कैलकुलेशन डन Absolutely. there was no steel stiffness so for all the real estate everything was driven by everything purely, was bottom purely, line up bottom and up okay, bottom and up whatever paisa. money you pay aur yeah. mazey ki baat kya thi uske andar aesthetic ke upar paisa kharch kar diya tha aur technical ke upar paisa kharch nahi kar raha tha it was the first project we did co extruded colored windows so it was gray color from outside and white inside color ke upar paisa kharch kar diya aesthetic ke upar technical ke upar zero kharch kar hame knowledge nahi thi what hurricane bars were so to all my real estate friends so there is a product called which is hurricane bar it's like it acts like for you as a layman it's a scale kind of a situation so if you have your scale like this nothing bends on the door and window Correct. so that was installed not installed there later we analyzed and we understood hurricane bar was needed mandatory so the developer paid at that time 2009 the order value was at say about 10 odd crore rupees he paid 1.65 crores later to redo everything pehle kar dete to shayad pehle shayad 80 lakhs mein ho jata shayad correct kam mein ho jata aur wo windows bhi kharab nahi hoti aur brand name bhi kharab nahi hota aur customer or the chance of someone getting killed was always there because wo 35% of the windows were flying so imagine agar koi niche khada hota something like you drop a coin from 20th floor it can create a dent in the cars for sure so the point which i was adding here is about the wind load and the structural rigidity The interesting part is even then it was not there. Even today, yes, it is not. Whenever we ask for, give us the technical specs what you want to buy, mm. what is the wind load, and I would say I'll not say there is a shift, but still a lot of people do not have that understanding. The windows have to pass structural rigidity. They do not give the wind. They are not aware about wind loads. That is one. The second is also from the window industry because now there are so many. players in the industry organized and unorganized both the concept of wind load calculation is still missing in fact lot of people are working on software to give the codes but those are not validated so it was the first time we started in fenesta it was all done manual from day 1 we, we do manual from day 1 to for yeah. all the calculation because otherwise the software cannot give you a structurally fit code uh, but after that we inbuilt into the software and we asked please roll out the software to all the users we are happy because they'll be able to validate it even today also it is not there in the industry no but just to add to your point and to sir to the architect fraternity sir we sometimes so like yp said when we talk to a developer and we request them sir please give us your technical that what is the wind pressure requirement okay the mere ko to pata nahi architect se puch lo 
एंड आर्किटेक्ट रिस्पॉन्सेज आप चेक कर लो ना सेसमिक जोन के हिसाब से क्या वहाँ पे आता है उस हिसाब से कर लो मैं सर आपने बिल्डिंग डिजाइन करी उसी का विंड प्रेशर दे दो उसके हिसाब से डिजाइन कर देंगे नहीं नहीं वो सेसमिक जोन आता है ना उसके हिसाब से कर दो सो नाउ द पॉइंट सो नाउ बट द पॉइंट इज अब द क्वेश्चन इज डिफरेंट यूल बी सरप्राइज I encountered some of the wind load calculations of some of the leading players of the country, or unko jab humne validate kiya and it passed the structural consultant's approval, and when we validated that, usme one is to ten ka gap hai. So what I'm trying to create here is there is an awareness needed to the real estate fraternity, but at Absolutely. the same time the there is an awareness needed at the architect fraternity also, for and the structural consultants ki kaun sa section. कैसे बिहेव करेगा सो वॉट टाइम समटाइम्स इज इज वन प्लस वन इज नॉट टू समटाइम पीपल कंसिडर इट इलेवन बट वो वन प्लस वन इसलिए जरूरी है बिकॉज वन विल बिहेव सेपरेटली एंड द अदर वन विल बिहेव सेपरेटली सो दोनों की वैल्यू एड नहीं हो सकती है कंबाइंड नहीं हो सकती एड होंगी उसके अंदर आई एम जस्ट गिविंग स्मॉल पॉइंट गिव यू आई मी टेक यू फॉरवर्ड फ्रॉम वे यू सेट यू मैं structural engineer so principally the principally a developer hires the architect and the architect sometimes hires the structural consultant so principally so, sometimes gets over to an architect and that fraternity over so wo revolving chair hai tu usse pooch le bhai tu na usse pooch le bhai ha wohi to wohi wali aage chal so i call it sorry i that's why sometimes i call it selective disaster management ki agar kahin pe aag lagi hai to they start talking about ki yahan pe fire norms kya hain yahan kahin pe agar kahin pe koi aur problem aayenge wo kahenge acha staircase bada kar do kahin window gir gayi acha to wind load calculation to zaruri hai so it's called a selective disaster management no so we i mean we learn from disasters uh, yeah, ultimately so aap uh, seismic ki baat kyu karte hain hum बिकॉज ऑफ दी अर्थ को एक सिचुएशन अर्थ को एक अब लोग समझ गए हैं कि अर्थ को एक इशू तो पूरे क्योंकि आने शुरू हो गए हैं ना इसलिए लोगों ने बात करनी शुरू कर दी देव बीन एग्जाम्पल देव बीन इशूज आई मीन भुज एंड वॉज दिगेस्ट थिंग्स अराउंड के बाद में डॉक्टर आर्या और उड़की ने हुआ देर लॉट ऑफ वर्क डन आफ्टर दैट एंड एवरीबडी गॉट अवेयर वेन कम्स टू विंड लोड वी आर नॉट रियली उस सिचुएशन में भी नहीं है करेक्ट ठीक है और विंड लोड मैप ऑफ इंडिया पब्लिश है मोस्ट आर्किटेक्ट विल नो दैट वो गिव्स यू किस लोकेशन पे इंडिया की किस हाइट मालूम है वो डिटेल्स तो आप चैट जीबीटी से भी निकालते हैं वो तो खैर एआई टूल है जो क्वेश्चन ये हम लोग शायद आज बात कर रहे हैं तो लोग बस और पहुंचेगा तो विंड लोड इज समथिंग विच इज ऑलरेडी स्टेब्लिश मीन हमारे रूल्स रेगुलेशन डेटा ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल है हिंदुस्तान के लिए डिफरेंट इट इज अवेलेबल दीपक द पॉइंट इज नॉट दैट इट इज देयर बट the architect fidelity who is giving this window schedule usme mandatory hone chahiye at least be aware that he has to give the schedule along with the wind load that is what we are saying no, so I, today I a, even today also it is not happening i have a counterpoint to that if i give you the location and i give you the height height above msl because again we are doing a building right now which is on on a hill yes right facing the coast तो मेरे नंबर ऑफ फ्लोस नहीं चलेंगे उसमें उट मैं I am not it supposed it to be competent. I am supposed to put things. I put things together. Absolutely. As a like what a director does. So uh, in this case, I have a structural engineer. I can go to a structural engineer and get that wind load. That's one option that is available. Second is I you know, okay, save time, save everybody. Let the window manufacturer confirm that they ye specs ya ye jo wind load hai wo meet kar rahe hain. So these are the typical methods that are followed right now. Agreed. Yes, by going through this exercise. इसमें मेरा point add करना है. Sorry for a second. So this is on the strategy point of view, right? So one point उसके अंदर. अब आपने example नहीं दिया. That's okay. A company like X company, which is organized, they know what to do. They can probably do it. But आज तो situation because a developer goes from bottom and up. तो उसमें क्या होगा पहले तो उसमें लोग आएंगे द पीपल हु आर नॉट ऑर्गेनाइज्ड एंड पीपल हु डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दर्ल्ड कॉल्ड विंड लोड कैलकुलेशन विंड लोड निकालना क्या है वो तो बहुत दूर की बात है सो देर द प्रॉब्लम इज वो आई वाई एम सिंग दिस आई गिव स्मॉल थर्टी सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल यू विल नॉर्थ इंडिया देर अ डेवलपर आई हैड बीन ट्राइंग फॉर नाइन ईयर्स टू क्रैक दैम हमारा हम हमेशा प्राइज आउट हो जाते थे मैंने अपनी टीम को बोला लेट्स गो एंड दू दी साइड विजिट की माल क्या लगाते हैं वो कहते वो नहीं हम वहाँ पे गए उसमें कोई वो हरिकेन बार नहीं लगा हुआ और विंड लोड कैलकुलेशन टू के पास हो रहा है 
नाउ अ स्लाइडिंग डोर विदाउट अरिकन बार कैन नेवर पास टू के पी है मैं कह सर आप ये कैसे चेक करते हो कहते ये देखो हिल नहीं रहा ये तो ये पास है मैं कह सर ये पास थोड़ी है देर इज नो हरिकन बार यू कैन नॉट डू इट सो दैट्स दी वन चैलेंज यू आर राइट एट योर पार्ट दैट द विंडो मैन्युफैक्चर हैज टू डू बट द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन कम्स अलॉन्ग विद दिस इज That is the window company competent to do it? That's another question which allies with the, along this. Purpose ये है कि हम कोशिश ये कर रहे हैं कि high rise particularly in this aspect कि आप design कीजिए wind load का ध्यान कीजिए temperature, rainfall, all of these are very important. सिर्फ ये budget मत दे दीजिए कि 500 रुपए हजार रुपए foot में आप बना दो जो बना.